Hello, this is T.H. Culhane for the Patel College of Global Sustainability, and I'm here with Inas, my wife, and Christian from CELL, the Community Engagement Laboratory, and Sheila Sullivan behind the camera, and we're about to cook eggs on biogas, but we're going to cook the, bio, the eggs on a biogas from a very special source, and let me take you over and see. Everybody's asked about, oh, how do I do this biogas thing, and there's so many ways to do this. One is to get yourself an IBC tank and make it into a biodigester with three simple pipes. There's the feed pipe right over there. That's the I part for I love you in sign language, the inlet I. Then you have the gas pipe coming out there. That's going straight to heaven right up there. That's the index finger. And then you have your effluent from the L that takes out the liquid fertilizer. And in this case, the gas and the liquid fertilizer are going to a second IBC tank, which stores the gas. But we've used this one up, so it's empty. So we're not gonna be cooking on this today. This is another floating tank for storing more gas, but it's also empty. We cook a lot. I got a lot more gas in the dragon down there, but we have multiple sources of gas here. Past the papaya tree. We have the home biogas 3.0 system, which is the latest out of the wonderful home biogas company in the Holy Land, and they, um, their 3.0 is the most convenient, least expensive, most effective biogas system sets up in about an hour, really easy setup, and then you just put your food waste in here. And then I've got this baby poop kiddie pool biodigester that I just set up, which is literally two kiddie pools, one upside down inside the other, filled with baby poop from my cloth diapers, because we don't put anything to the landfill, so we wash our diapers on solar hot water from a student and professor built solar hot water system out of local materials from the local hardware store. This gets up to 130, 140 Fahrenheit every day. So it's plenty hot for doing the laundry and, uh, and then we use it in the shed there. So we've got uh, the baby poop kiddie pool digester, the home biogas, the solar cities IBC tank digester, and then we've got the Hojun Special. Now, Hojun was a student of ours from South Korea who uh, is now back working as a sustainability consultant. He's just graduated, congratulations, uh, from PCGS. And he wanted to make a digester out of parts from a, a hardware store that would cost less than $100. And he did. So it's just a garbage can with another garbage can upside down in it. And uh, it's filled up this inner tube here, which I've just hooked up to my hose, it looks like there's a bit of a leak, so I better start using this fast because this is getting low. So we're gonna see how long this inner tube lasts, and that's from a day's feeding of the garbage can biodigester. We've got plans online, so you can all build these at your leisure. So we're gonna come over here to get it out. We're gonna turn on a pump, and we'll measure how much is produced. So I have the aquarium pump here, and let me turn this off so that we're not using, this is a hose that comes from the big dragon out there. It's all the way around the property. So we're just using what's coming in here from Hojun's garbage can digester. So I'm gonna turn on the pump and I'm gonna turn on the gas and I'm gonna light the gas. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> so you can see this is Hojun's digester and we should start the timer now. It is now 11 o'clock on the dot, so you can see the, the beautiful flame there. And I'm gonna take some olive oil. How many eggs would you like, Christian? Let's have two. Let's just do a standard two eggs. Just one two egg, all right? One for nine. Oh, and one for nine, okay. So we'll put three in here. All right. These are Rosebud eggs. These are eggs from the property here at Rosebud. So they're free range, literally free range chickens. And I'll go for, I'll put four in. Why don't I put five? <laughs> Let's go, go for All right, there's one, two, three, four. There's five of us and five eggs. No, oh. three, one and two. Well, well, they'll all be mixed scrambled together so no one will know and you can eat what you like. <laughs> so we'll put in some wonderful almond milk. Now this digester that we're using, this really small one, is about the size of the one that Inas had in her dorm <coughs> at the Arava Institute of the Environment in Kibbutz Ketura in southern Israel, Palestine. And she was able to cook an egg, <coughs> an egg a day uh, on that system. 
or cook tea in the morning, right? So these little systems that are between 60 and 100 liters, which translates to somewhere around, um, what, 30 gallons? <coughs> must be flower pollen around. These little systems are good for about an egg a day and no more. And we'll see right now. Uh, Inas, can you stir this while we walk over and see how the, um, how the bag is doing? Because these only last about three to five minutes. Yep, these only last three to five minutes is our experience. And Christian, you were asking how Leave long. The, Look at the on. size of the flame. Still uh, on. Okay. That's going to be three to five minutes. Obviously, if I make it bigger, no, no, just leave it. Then it's going to, if it's less, twice as high, less. it'll last half the time. Less, so yeah. keep stirring that. Let's come over here and see. It's still there. We probably have used, if you look at it, we've probably used half the gas so far. Right? But we still have gas. So you can see here, it is being used up, mm -hmm. but not that quickly. Mm -hmm. It's just coming out of here. I'm just going through a typical garden hose. Mm -hmm. I mean, not even garden hose, it's a clear plastic hose. It's, How long will, we, will it take to fill it up again? If the temperature stays like this, it'll take one day. Oh, okay. Remember that in the ideal temperatures with 1 40th the volume mm -hmm. of a mixed food source that is got lipids and carbohydrates and proteins, like a balanced diet that has the right carbon to nitrogen ratio, yeah. it should produce its own volume in gas per day. Yeah. If, now if it's colder, like if it drops by five, 10 degrees, it'll be half that volume. Oh, okay. So if it's it a short range. Yeah, it's a okay. short range. So you get ambient temperatures normally of about 25 Celsius. Right now we're up to body temperature and this is black. So yeah. probably it's close to 35 Celsius or 37, which is our body temperature. So yeah. probably it'll do a full volume. Mm -hmm. But when it's colder and it's the average ambient, because at nighttime it gets colder. Yeah. So if you, water tends to retain the average temperature. Yeah. And we've done tests with these IBCs. They're a thousand liters. Even if it gets to be 40 degrees Celsius in the day, if it's 20 at night, the inside of that will be 20 plus 40 divided by two, which is 30 degrees, because mm -hmm. it averages mm -hmm. the thing. Mm -hmm. So you're always gonna get the average with a certain volume. Now this might be a small enough volume that it may stay hotter, but it also loses heat because it's smaller. So yeah. we try to say, look at your ambient average over a 24 hour period. That's what your tank is at, and that's gonna be an indication of how much you're gonna get. Yeah. So it, it really has to stay hot at night for it to stay hot. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's that. So I always, I always park myself at about 50% of the ideal. Mm. So I'd say it would probably take me two days to fill that under normal conditions in Florida. In New York, summers are great. Winters, you got no action. Okay. So we definitely make like a really simple. And uh, I guess so might. But, um... Okay. So what we're seeing here the flame is still on. We've definitely got the eggs and we've only used about half of the gas. One advantage of biogas, like all natural gas cooking, is that it cooks really fast. Stay away, buddy. <laughs> You're gonna eat. I'm gonna <laughs> all right, so the there's the fire and we can uh, turn that off, but if you wanna get a, a good picture of it. I mean, I can keep it going.